Well, we have the Chemi Car Competition. The Chemi Car Competition is a great opportunity for students to apply all the things they've learned in their chemical engineering education to practical application in building these cars, trying to meet certain criteria, for example, moving a certain weight a certain distance, and using some sort of chemistry to be able to make that happen. Uh, it's a great opportunity for them to build, work together as teams. It's a great opportunity to apply their education, and this builds not only a lot of excitement among the students, but great team spirit as they put these things together. Well, chemical engineers have uh, the kind of background in education to be able to work on many of the world's problems today. So, for example, we're facing issues with energy, transportation and infrastructure, problems with water supplies, health and nutrition, and, of course, these great challenges with climate change. Chemical engineering is preparing each one of these students to deal with working on those problems. And, in fact, working on these chemi cars gives them an opportunity to translate some of the theoretical things they learn at the university into practical applications that then helps them in their careers. They're just a, a little bit further ahead when they begin to work on real projects. Well, I think if you look around you, almost everything you touch has been touched by a chemical engineer. So the plastics and materials that you may have in your home, uh, the food that you're eating, the fuels that drive your vehicles, uh, practically everything in your environment is shaped by chemical engineers. An hour before the competition starts, we announce what the uh, distance and the load are, and the students don't know that ahead of time, so they on the fly have to perform calculations based on calibration curves that they've developed ahead of time to uh, determine uh, how much uh, reactants they need to add to their system to charge it to get to go the desired distance. These are students who are having a ball. I mean, you can look around and see them cheering and yelling, and they're really getting involved, and that's what we want. We want young people involved, but they're also learning. This is a very serious competition in the sense that they're learning about a serious problem, which is developing alternate fuels. They can, but I think what's really important about this competition is it teaches them that they can actually help society. And AICHE is very much involved in societal problems and looking to see if we can help in some way. Uh, we feel great. We worked really hard on this car. We spent, you know, nights and nights after. We did like about, like you said, um, like 200 calibration runs. So, you know, this is by far, we put the most work into this. And we're so glad to have won the Nationals again. We won it two years ago. We won it now. We're very glad to do it. There's a lot of push in um, alternative energy, um, especially, you know, using the biomass and all, all that stuff. So, um, if we could make a car, um, at least on the small scale, like a chemi car, and use that technology, um, maybe scale it up to a, some other um, method to power the car, um, that would be very beneficial to, to humanity. So That's great. Yeah. I'm where we are. So um, I'd like to thank everyone on the team at Quarant, everyone from Cornell, Cornell Engineering, um, the Department of Chemi, and our advisor. <laughs>
the motor and drives the rear axle. Thank you. And what's the name of your car? The name of the University, University of Florida car is the Cougar. I like it. Is that an LED computer fan that you've got on your car? Yes, it is. Ohio University. You guys, you can't see your car. 